In this video, I'm going to show you the first part of creating a custom slideshow video using Canva. So in this video, we're going to actually make the slideshow, and then in the next video, we will add custom sound to it. So here I am on the Canva homepage, and for this example, I am using a free account, so we're not using any of the pro features or elements. This is just going to be a free version. Before you get to this point, you're going to want to have all of the pictures or images that you want for this slideshow, you're going to want to have those handy. So whether that's in a folder on your computer or on your desktop, or maybe you download the Canva app onto your phone and have that um, so that you can upload pictures directly from your phone. Wherever those pictures live, just make sure you sort of have an easy way to get them into Canva before you start. That's going to save you a lot of stress. All right, here on the Canva homepage, I'm going to click Create. There's a few different ways you can start a new project in Canva, but we'll just go with this purple Create button. And for this particular example, we are going to select Video landscape. You could probably also get away with doing like a slideshow, but if you want to add audio and some animations, a video in this landscape format is probably your best bet. Now, once you get here, we're going to pretend like it's a PowerPoint presentation, okay? We're going to pretend like this is just a regular slideshow, and we're going to add as many different slides as we need here at the bottom. You can always come back and add more, we can rearrange them, those kinds of things. But here at the bottom is where you will add your slides for this slideshow. Now, if I had pictures for this slideshow, in fact, I'm gonna pause this recording and let's, let me drag in some actual pictures. Okay, I've got some images ready to add. Now there's a few different ways that you can add these as well. Um, for some computers and some users, you can just literally drag them onto the page, or I could click on the photo and do copy and then paste it onto my slide. That works sometimes. But you'll see now it says, sorry, the pasted content is not supported. So what I'm gonna show you here is kind of the most reliable way to get your photos into your slideshow. I'm gonna go on the left-hand side here in Canva and I'm gonna go to uploads because we are going to be uploading these files. I'm gonna hit upload files and then it is going to bring up my computer and I can go ahead and add some pictures in. So we're just going to hit a couple at random. There we go. And now we have uploaded files into our Canva and essentially these stay in a folder in Canva so I can use them later in other projects if I want to as well. When I want when I'm ready to add these pictures into my slideshow, I just go here in the uploads and I click on the picture. And here I can resize it, I can move it around, I can get fancy if I wanna do a more fully designed slide, but for now, let's just go with pictures. And I'm going to have a new slide for every picture that I'm adding. So let's just add a few more. Here we go. And we'll do one more. Perfect. Now, I did mention if you have pictures on your phone, my preferred way to get them into Canva is just to download the Canva app and log into it. It's a bit cumbersome to do a lot of things in the app, but it works really well for uploading pictures. You just go in the Canva app and find the Your Camera or Upload from Camera button at the bottom, and then you can upload your pictures there. Okay. So, Take a second if you need to, make sure you've got all of the pictures added. And this is also the stage where, like I said, if you wanted to add text, if you wanted to add customizations, these are all Canva features that are pretty easy to do. For example, I could just go to elements and I could add, let's say I wanted to add a picture of a flower. I could just go ahead and add that and resize it, but know that you are sort of dealing with, if you're doing the free version of Canva, you are a bit limited in the images and things that you can do. Here's one that doesn't have that restriction. Beautiful. Um, I can also click on text and write text if I want, say hello. But again, more than likely, if you're just doing a photo slideshow, you can just add those pictures in and not make any other changes, and that is perfectly fine. Now, from here, I could be done. At this point, 
I do have a slideshow because I picked that video option. Um, the defaults are the settings for how much time is it's going to show each slide and whatever the transitions are, but here's a little bit of what this looks like. As you can see, it's going to show this picture for five seconds and then switch to the next picture for five seconds and so on and so forth. If I wanna change the duration of some of these pictures, I can click into the slide and drag it longer or shorter. And I can do that for any one of these. I can make them all the same. I can make them different. But that is one way that I can change the length it is showing each picture. You'll notice when I did that, it is also changing this little button here. This is another way you can change the duration of your pictures. So if I click, I've got this slide selected, I click here, I can type the duration in or just use the little toggle. And so I could say eight seconds and apply that to all and you'll notice it just change down there. So this is the part where you're changing duration. Now I will say if you are going to go on to the next step where you're adding music into it, you might just want to wait until you have your music added and we'll talk more about how to tweak things there in the next video. But for now, basic changes on how long we're showing each slide. The last thing I'm going to show you before we export and share your video is how you can do transitions between the videos. This is a really easy way you can really kind of level up your video slideshow. If you hover your mouse in between the slides as they appear here on the bottom in the timeline, um, we have options, first of all, to add a page if you wanted to add another slide. But the second button, if I hover over, says add transition. And Canva has a nice little selection of slide transitions you can use. So you'll notice as I hover over one, each one, it kind of demonstrates what they are. So for now, let's go with this line wipe. And then once you select them, you have the chance to sort of make changes. Like I can change what direction that line wipe goes. Um, I can change its duration. I can make it sort of slow as it goes from one to the other. So those are all things that I can customize and I will want to set that for every transition. So I would recommend probably doing the same transition in between all of your slides, but you can be as creative here as you would like. Okay, so now if I just click right here, just for purposes of the demo, let's go back to the timing. Let's make each picture 1.5 seconds, apply to all pages, and then let's watch this video that we have. So I'm going to click the play button here. And there's my completed video. So now it's time to share it. If where you're sharing needs a link, like send us a link to your video, you can just go ahead and share it directly from Canva. If I click up here and click share, there is an option for a public view link. So when I click on that, it will create a public view link. I can send this to anyone I want. They'll be able to watch my video on the web just like they would a YouTube video. However, most of the time when you're doing this kind of thing, they don't want a link, they want a downloaded file. So on that same share option, we're gonna click download. And then you have some different options here. Probably you're gonna go with the defaults, which is to select an MP4 video. You want it to include all the pages and the middle set of quality is probably fine. And then you'll go ahead and click download. Now it does say, hey, your design has premium content. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that premium content element. That is kind of the one downside of using the elements in the free version of Canva is they really want you to upgrade, um, but you do not have to to use this. So let's go share again. We're going to go download, keep it all the defaults and hit the download button. It is going to take a bit, especially if you have a longer slideshow, but this is going to save an MP4 file to your computer, wherever you normally save your downloads. And that's going to be something that you can send off and share. So in the next video, we're going to retrace our steps just a little bit. I'll show you how to add audio and music into this, and then we'll export it one more time kind of for your final product.